Alright everyone, in this video here I wanted to do something a little different. And, uh, well first of all, I just picked up Spy Hunter for the PlayStation Vita. Let me tell you, uh, I don't know how it is in other areas, but where I'm at, there's, there's usually like 20 different stores I can go to to pick up games. Actually more than that. But this game for some reason is really, really hard to find. I don't know, they're just doing like a very limited release or something. But this also came out for the 3DS. And I cannot find the 3DS version at all. I only found one copy of the PlayStation Vita. Of all the places I went to. So, what I wanted to do was uh, I should have probably should have found a knife before I started recording this video. Oh well. But what I wanted to do was do a true, not really an unboxing, but like a true first impression. And I just want to prove a point that first time. Opening this up and sticking the system for the first time. So yeah, like a lot of the PlayStation Vita games, they don't come with uh, paper manuals. I've always liked the Spy Hunter games. You know, I played the original one back back in the day. I played the the reboot ones. You know, back on the PS2 and Xbox. And. Uh, so I am pretty familiar with the Spy Hunter series. The reason why I wanted to pick this up was one, something new to play for the PlayStation Vita. You know, there's, I mean, geez, there's a freaking drought of games for the system. But uh, I just, I just put it in. Now it's going to install. put this back up here you know what before I start this let me check for any updates now in the time of this recording there's no reviews no pretty much not even uh, user reviews so I absolutely have no idea if this game is pretty good or absolute garbage. Sorry, I had to zoom in a little. That way you get a better view. So yeah, th this used to be a Midway uh, title until uh, Warner Brothers bought them out. So we got uh, campaign, multiplayer, and options. Let's check out the options real quick. Obviously, it has that uh, iconic uh, music for the series. Check out the mm, check out the layout. Okay. Okay, so this is only ad hoc. So there's no online in this. Which is kind of weird because, you know, you can also download this through the PlayStation Store and it's a little misleading because on there it says ad hoc and network play. Network play, I'm assuming, is uh, playing over the internet, but obviously it's not. Okay, looks like I need to uh, take a picture. Uh, 
So there's my picture. I have to say, this is pretty cool. And I'm assuming on the 3DS is the same way. Since, you know, the 3DS does have cameras on them too. Tap one, the four weapon slots in the... Mm -hmm. Okay. Guess I'll do that one. Game looks pretty good. I wish there was some voice acting instead of just all text, but all right. Oh no, something happened. Okay. It seems like they do a lot of slow motion uh, sequences too.
you know, the game doesn't look bad at all. I think it looks fine. It looks nice and sharp. Uh, the game runs at a nice clip. At a nice clip. Control seems fine. Ooh. So, from what I understand from the trailers, you got um, you got no, you got the street like this. You got the water sequence just right then and there. And you got off roading. I have to say, this is a. I kind of like this so far. You know, I, I'm I'm pretty sure the 3DS version is pretty much identical to this. Obviously, the PlayStation Vita version is it's going to have better graphics and is on the higher resolution screen, so it's going to look sharper. But I mean, the 3DS version is pretty much on par with this. I, I don't think this is a bad game. I actually kind of enjoy this. So uh, I'll just end it here. I'm already at the 10 minute mark, so uh, okay. It looks like this uh, video here is from the trailer. Now I don't know how long this game is. Hopefully it's not a short game because this is a $40 game. Regardless if you get the Vita version or the 3DS version, it's gonna be a $40 game. So hopefully this is a fairly long game. I kind of wish there was some online... Okay. So I guess... I didn't realize uh, I was still talking and the camera cut off. But uh, that this was just a quick look at Spy Hunter. Quick look, size first impression of Spy Hunter for the PlayStation Vita. It's also available for the 3DS. I picked up the Vita version mainly because, for one, this is actually, surprisingly, this is actually a very hard game to find. It seems like Warner Brothers doing a limited release of this game. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're really pushing this game. But, you know, the game seems fun so far. You know, the game looks pretty good, controls are fine, you know, it, the only slowdowns that are in this game are the ones that are purposely done for some action sequences, but that's purposely done, but there's no uh, slowdown for hardware reason. So, um, is it worth picking up? Um, I might get back to you on that, but, you know, so far, so far I'm enjoying this game. So this that was just a quick look at Spy Hunter for the PlayStation Vita. Like I said, it's also available for the 3DS. And it's a kind of a hard game to find. So you might be, have better luck going to either maybe GameStop or just order online through like Amazon or something. So anyway, like always, have a good one.